am. I'm not really sure what my hair is doing. Baby, it's the best flavor. The best flavor Red Bull by far. Have you made popsicles out of that? Oh, um, that reminds me. Sonic is doing a summertime Red Bull Rod Melon Slushy special edition. Mm -hmm. And there's one other flavor they're doing too. I just can't remember what it is. But yeah, they're doing this as a little slushy at Sonic. Oh. Mm. Baby, I need this though. It's only 9.30 and I am so tired. Hey guys, welcome back to Say What Reacts, back again with another BTS album listen for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm here to do this. The next one is HYYH part one. Technically, technically, the next one is, what is it, Wake Up, I think is what it said, which is a Japanese album. But I'm going to hold off and I think I'm going to do the Japanese albums together at the end maybe. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I want to try to get through the main albums first because I know that their concert, um, their online concerts coming up in a month. So I really want to try to get through the bulk of like their main albums, um, their main Korean albums first. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping to, so I'm, I'm just going to wait on the, the wake up album and what's the other, um, youth, I think and face yourself. I'm going to bump those to last, and Crystal Snow, I guess, um, was just a single, I guess. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna bump those to last um, and just try to get um, the, the the bulk of like their main albums done first, just to um, try to get through this before <laughs> the concert. Um, so hopefully I can actually watch this one and not um, uh, spoil a bunch of things for myself. So today we are doing uh, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life Part 1. Um, which is going to include, now typically it will include, um, uh, this would include, um, I Need You and, um, like a skit and dope. I've already obviously seen I Need You and dope. Um, and then the skits I'm not doing during the album listens. I'll listen to them later. As normal, I will have to split this into two reactions. I'll do three songs in the first reaction, which will be, um, the intro. I am a little... A little confused because the intro on the album list I see shows the most beautiful moment in life, but the intro listed in um, the song I'm about to react to says Blooming Youth. But I know sometimes they have like multiple names for the same thing. So maybe that's just another like instance where it has like the same um, title name or a different title name. Um, but it's all the same thing, so let's hope so. Um, yeah, okay, it, it does say it's from, yeah, it does say track one, Blooming Youth, so I don't know. Um, oh no, it does say intro song, Most Beautiful Moment in Life. So then why are they calling it Blooming Youth? Yeah, once again, I think they probably just have two names. What the hell? Okay, whatever. Why do they do stuff like this? It's so confusing for people. Jesus. Anyway, this first part, it's going to be, going to be, going to be the most beautiful moment in life intro. Then it'll be hold me and then, or hold me tight. And then it'll be boys with fun. And then part two, we're going to do converse high move, which is also moving on once again to like a name, potential names for the same song. And then the last one is Love Is Not Over. So that'll be part two, Converse High, uh, Move or Moving On and Love Is Not Over. And then this part one here will be um, Intro, uh, The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, Hold Me Tight and Boys With Fun. So I'm excited once again. I have zero knowledge whatsoever on what any of this is going to sound like. I do see that the intro is Suga which I find awesome. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about this. Um, yeah, I think we just need to dive right into this because, and I do have my Red Bull. I'm yawning early tonight, guys. I feel a little out of it. I'm not going to lie. I feel a little weird right now. Um, I'm really, really tired. Uh, so yeah, I have my Red Bull. We're going to do this. I'm sorry if you see random like white things on my shirt and stuff. 
I was laying down with a blanket earlier, and now I just have, like, lint all over this black shirt. So just if you see, just ignore it. Just, I, I'm a hot mess of a situation today, okay? It, it, things happen. But I did get my nails done. Aren't they pretty? Yay, finally. Woo! -hoo. Okay, anyway, wow. I'm going to stop talking, and we're going to start listening to this um, uh, video. Boyfriend's right here, by the way. Yeah, he's playing a game, chilling on, on the new couch. Okay, we are going to get started, and let's do this. Oh, I have the subtitles um, on real quick because it says the subtitles are here to fix the mistake. I did. I did a bad translation to the title of the song, so I fixed it. I hope it's enough. So apparently that the, um, the, I don't know. Do I leave? Do I leave the subtitles on? It says intro heavy breathing. I don't think, I think that's what she's talking about. The title of the song. Yeah. I don't think I need the actual subtitles. We'll see. I'll turn them off if I don't actually need it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, just like normal, he's just completely attacking it. Um, I do know that he um, got his name because he used to be a, um, a shooting guard or like a point guard, shooting guard, whatever, in, in basketball when he used to play. So I do know that that's kind of like how he got his name um, was uh, from that. And I like how basically he's using kind of basketball as – a huge like in the game of basketball as a huge metaphor um for different things he's experiencing in his life um yeah i just he's he's i think that him doing little things like this always make him very relatable for people um whether you know it's about his piano whether it's about basketball whatever i just think that um he's very clever in in the way he does that and how he relates it to things himself in his life and how because of that it makes him more relatable um in his music so yeah i like it so far it's, it's sugar it he kills it as always oh, yeah. Hold on, i love that And I do like how um, the uh, it always seems like the intros kind of set the tone um, for like at least part of the album because you know I feel like the album progresses um, from one point to the other usually. Um, but I do like how it always seems to set the tone um, of the album, and I, I do like that ending there when he said. Uh, um, come on. I'm asking myself again, am I happy right now? And then that answer was is all is already fixed. I'm happy. Um, yeah, I like that. He attacked it like normal. I don't honestly like. I just at this point, I don't expect anything less from Sugar than just to completely kill anything he does because he's just really good at what he does. Um, and that was just another example of that. So, 
amazing. Let's go to the next one. Hold me tight. It's a full, um, full group on this uh, track. I once again have absolutely no idea what to expect. I'm excited. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I know that feeling. This one. This one right here. Yep. I feel like this has a more R&B sound than I feel like I'm used to hearing from them. Um, I know that they can do r and I've heard them do R&B before, but I feel like it's typically either a, um, a ballad -y feel from them, a hip-hop feel from them, or just like a pop feel from them. I don't always hear a ton of R&B so much with them, um, even though I know that they can do it. It's just not something that I hear as often as other things on their albums. Um, I love this. This is really great. It's it's, it's this is definitely like an R and B feeling type of track, and it sounds great. I love the double, um, uh, they're not obviously just ad libs. I mean, they're like his lines too, but I love how there's the little lines in the background along with his lines as they go. Um, they've done that a couple times now and I've really liked it. <laughs> Aww. They're gonna take that chance. I love this blend of the two of them. Oh, 
Why does he sound like he's like muffled? Like he's like like he's like muffled. He sounds like he recorded it with his face mask on. You know what I'm saying? Like it sounds like he recorded it with his mask on or like under the water or something like that. That's so crazy. It definitely sounds muffled in a way. Um there and and always Shug is always doing something with his voice, whether you know, it, it's him doing the different voice, whether it's a, it's an effect doing a different voice. There's always something going on with Sugar's voice. I love that so much. You know, I've talked about it before. You guys know that. Um, I just always love how there's someone's always playing with Sugar's voice, him or someone else or whatever. It's always great to, to there's always something unexpected. And I think that that's great. The chorus was really catchy. It was easy for me to sing along with, which was great. I could actually understand and sing those words. Yay. Um, it just had such a really great, like, I don't know, beat to it. Like, it was it was an easy-to-like song. Does that make sense? Like, um, yeah, it was just an easily likable song. It's They sounded great. It had the good, um, the great vocals, and then it also blended, like, the rapping in with it. Um, I thought it was really blended in well as well, even though it was supposed to be like more of an R&B type song. Um, but the rapping blended in just fine with it. Uh, it. Like it didn't sound out of place on the track, which um, I thought they did really good on. I really liked this one a lot. Um, all right, let's move on to the next one. Boys with Fun. I'm assuming it's going to be fun. The actual, by, the, by the way, that last one might be going on my playlist. Might be going on my playlist. Let me just, let me double check, but because you guys know how fucking picky I am with my playlist, but I think that last one might be going on my playlist, but okay, so this one, Boys with Fun um look at all their pictures, I mean obviously these are pictures from a different era um, but, uh, than when this album came out, but um, that's okay, cause they're all like really cute stinking pictures, I can't even with them, oh my god okay, sorry, I was like staring at their pictures um, alright, so Boys with Fun Let's bring on the fun. I'm assuming it's going to be an upbeat song. Sounds funky. Wait, that was JK that said that? That sounded like J.O. I mean, I get, I, I'm, I'm not as familiar with their voices from back then, obviously, as I am now, and I do mix up their voices a lot, but I swear that sounded like J-Hope, not J-K, but obviously, I could very much be wrong here. Um, that's, that's so weird. <laughs> Thank you. 
Shoulder dance. Okay, hold on, hold on. Jesus. The song is like all over the place. Holy crap. I it, it there's a lot happening. It's like it has almost like I hear the womp 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 like kind of like I guess that's a guitar or whatever in the background. And so that gives it almost like a funky 70s feel to it, but the rapping they're doing on the track gives it more of like an 80s hip hop feel to it. Um, but yet there's also the modern aspect kind of feel to it as well. So I'm just like, holy shit, there's so much going on with this song. Oh my God. The moment the music flows, I think I'll go crazy. That's what I'm feeling right now. I feel like I'm going crazy because there's so much going on right now. Holy crap. Okay, it's definitely super fun as far as the lyrics and everything like go, as far as like the craziness of how everything sounds. Um, it's just, a, it's a fun loving song, you know? Don't, don't, don't worry about anything. Let's just have fun. Give me a little shovel to dance. I saw that. Are they talking about me? Me and my little shoulder dance? Okay. I mean... I, I, yes, I have been on multiple occasions. People tag me and stuff on Twitter all the time. And yes, that's a true statement. He knows. Okay, I hear, I hear that voice that he's putting on, which is what he started with. That was like, is that J-Hope? Yeah. Okay, I hear, I'm hearing it now. Why was he growling at me? He growled at me a bunch there. Wait, wait, I missed the lyric. There's, there's so much going on in this song. It's so hard to keep track. There's so much happening in the song. Oh my gosh. It's fun. I mean, the title is not lying. It's definitely fun, but there's so many different things happening. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
Holy cow. Guys, it was definitely fun, but holy crap, that was all over the place. Was that? No, Dionysus was definitely more chaotic. <laughs> I'm like, was that the most chaotic song I've heard them do? Um, no, Dionysus was definitely more chaotic than that. Um, but that was definitely a little, a little all over the place. Um, I would probably have to, it was definitely fun. It was, it was, I like the whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, sing it. Um, it was definitely really catchy and really fun to sing along with. But I don't necessarily, I feel like because it was a little chaotic, I'd feel a little, ah, uh, when listening to it. So I, I can't necessarily say that that's going to make it to my playlist. Um, but the, was it the second one? I really, really liked the second one. Hold Me Tight, that more R&B feeling one. Um, yeah. So I think the whole me tight's gonna end up making it to the playlist. I'm just saying. Um, but all of the songs are really good so far. I'm excited to get to the last three. Um, like I said on the intro, Shuga killed it as always. Hold me tight. I really liked that R and B vibe from them. Um, I think they did a really good job with it. Uh, Boys with Fun is exactly what the title says. You can tell they just had fun with that one. Um, and that's, you know, really all there was to it. It sounded good. Um, it, there, there was, there, it sounded good. There was a ton of fun. You can tell they had fun doing it. It was just a little too all over the place, I think, for me. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm excited. I'm going to end this reaction. Um, that way it's not too long and I can get the other one up for you guys. Um, so next up, just um, right after this one, next up is going to be Converse High um, Move or Moving On, whichever you want to call it. And um, Love Is Not Over. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys right after this in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>